Hello guys, today we are going to talk about a cell. A cell is a basic structural and a functional unit of life. Why is it called so? Because a single cell is capable of performing all the activities a body organism will do like absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion. There are namely few types of cells, eukaryotic and prokaryotic. So today we are going to talk about eukaryotic animal cells. So when we talk about a eukaryotic animal cell, we have got few cell organelles in it, namely endoplasmic reticulum, plasma membrane, ribosomes, nucleus, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes. So now we are going to talk about each and every cell organelle singly. Let's start with plasma membrane. When we go from outside to inside of the cell, plasma membrane is the first structure which we encounter. So plasma membrane guys, the name itself says that plasma membrane is an outer covering of the cell. When we say outer covering, it has got a role in the protection of the cell. It also helps in the selective permeability of water molecules, solute ions, carrier proteins, etc. It is also involved in phagocytosis and pinocytosis. So guys, what is phagocytosis and pinocytosis? Phagocytosis is basically a process of engulfing the food particles. Pinocytosis is also known as cell drinking. So these are the few functions of plasma membrane. Along with it, plasma membrane is also responsible for recognition of a self from non-self. And it also has got solute carriers which help in active and passive transportation. So our next up topic is the endoplasmic reticulum. So again, we have got two types of endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Let's talk about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum first. So smooth endoplasmic reticulum, also known as SER, does not have ribosomes on it. So now, what are ribosomes? Guys, ribosomes are also known as protein factories. They are responsible for the synthesis of proteins. So talking about the functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the first function namely is that it helps in the synthesis of visual pigments from vitamin A. It helps in the synthesis of ascorbic acid also known as vitamin C and it also helps in the synthesis of fats and lipids in body. The next up endoplasmic reticulum which we have to talk about is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. As I have mentioned before, rough endoplasmic reticulum have the presence of ribosome on it. The number of ribosomes on each cell differ from their function to function and the position to position. Rough endoplasmic reticulum also acts as a precursor for the formation of ribosomes. It also helps in the formation of nuclear membrane during the time of cell division. So guys, here we have talked about rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Next upon we talk about the mitochondria. So mitochondria also also known as powerhouse of the cell, it is responsible for cellular respiration and the synthesis of ATP which is the energy currency in a cell. It is also responsible for the synthesis of amino acids and fatty acids. It also has a role in genetics because mitochondria is known to have some maternal inheritance. So up here we finish about the functions of the mitochondria and the next cell organelle which we are going to talk about is the Golgi complex. So Golgi complex is this cell organelle which has got vesicles and is involved in cellular packaging and dispatching. So Golgi complex are involved in packaging and dispatching. They are also involved in the synthesis of glycoproteins and glycolipids. So the next up we have is the lysosomes. The lysosomes are also known as the societal bags. They have got certain enzymes, proteases, hydrolases, sulfates and lipases. These enzymes are majorly responsible for the digestion of major biomolecules inside a cell. The next we have is the cytoskeleton. As the name itself suggests, the cytoskeleton helps in the support of the structure of the cell and the lipid membrane. They are also the structural components of cilia, flagella which help in the transportation of the cell. And the last we have the nucleus. Nucleus is also known as the mastermind of the cell. It is responsible for holding the genetic information in the form of chromosomes or later known as chromatin material. It has a role in protein synthesis, it has a role in metabolism, it has a role in the regulation of all the cellular activities. It also has a role in cellular replication and differentiation. Here we have discussed about all the cellular organelles involved in a eukaryotic cell and their functions. Thank you.